Update 2 on Tropical Storm Manu, currently located in the Western Pacific to the south of Japan. That's where it's likely to strike in the next few days. Currently with winds of 50 miles per hour and a pressure of 989 millibars, a little bit stronger than it was uh, before in the past few hours. Positions 26.1 degrees north, 135.6 degrees east. Expected to move towards the north and then curve towards the northeast, making landfall in Japan in about one and a half days time, 36 hours, before moving out to sea and turning extra tropical on the other side. Gale advisor is currently in effect for the Ogasawara or the Bonin Islands, the Amami Islands, the Southern Itsu Islands and Southern Kyushu and Shikoku right now on the main Japanese islands there. And uh, that may be extended to um, Honshu as well as time goes on. The Gale advisor is there and maybe even storm warnings. Uh, so this is the probability percentages of tropical storm conditions in the next 96 hours. Uh, various really, you can see here the, the graphics really speak for themselves. 80% chance um, in particular in the southeast of um, Honshu, not too far from Tokyo either, including that region really. Um, with around a 20% chance of typhoon conditions, that's qu quite a bit lower than what it was previously. But there still remains a chance that it may be a typhoon when it makes landfall. But that's a fairly uh, remote possibility now. The sea surface temperatures then you can see are fairly warm around 29 to 30 degrees generally right up until it almost reaches the Japanese coastline where it will drop a little bit but still conducive for tropical cyclone development um, those sea surface temperatures are at least. The CMC model then you can see all the models here um, quite a few storms forming after um, the current one uh, goes away you can see it just stays offshore um, Manyi as time goes on off the Japanese coastline but you can see all those storms forming after that one or two intense ones as well uh, something for Taiwan to it appears. The GFS model has Manu swiping through Japan, pretty much what my forecast earlier just said, um, and then moving out to sea, turning extra tropical. You can also see another storm forming and then eventually making landfall in Taiwan, probably as a significant tropical storm. So this is the latest satellite imagery then on Manu. You can see it at the moment uh, as it's moving towards the northwest. You can see it's a little bit disorganized, perhaps towards the center. Uh, the center's a little bit bare, a little bit exposed, but you can see quite a spiral band around it, wrapping around the uh, centre of the storm. And the reason it's looking a bit like that is probably because of a little bit of dry air intrusion. You can see it off there to the southeast, um, and probably some wind shear as well, which isn't doing it uh, much favours either. Um, but as it moves towards the northwest, we might see a little bit more tightening and more strengthening as the storm moves towards the north and eventually towards the northeast. But um, it really shouldn't take too long before the storm turns extra tropical after it interacts with the Japanese coastline of the mainland Japan at least anyway. So let's take a look at the world right now then you can see as of September the 14th at 3 p.m. UTC we currently have a few systems out there tropical storms Manuel and Ingrid currently located uh, on either side of Mexico. Uh, Humberto has just de de degenerated into a remnant low but that may regenerate very soon in a few days time and of course tropical storm Manji currently located near uh, south of Japan no other systems currently active that are likely to form or indeed um, post tropical systems what was left of Gabriel we had as well of course uh, but this is the Pacific right now you can see both systems Manji and Manuel currently located at either side of the west of the of the Pacific right now um, and nothing in between at this time so as of right now then uh, it's the 14th tropical storm that's uh, reached tropical storm strength uh, they're not necessarily named uh, four typhoons and uh, two category three strength or higher that means that 2013 remains at the bottom for now just behind 2010 on typhoons um, three behind on typhoons but with the next name storm it will bring 2013 into at least 69th position um, but we'll see how that one goes as the year goes out uh, but you can track your storm at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking html that's the main page for the storm tracking information there you're presented with the tracking map with tables at the top bottom showing their intensities and indeed any current warnings that are in effect we do have warnings in effect right now for a, new, a, a number of storms including Man Yi right now where we have gale advisories for many parts of Japan. So you might want to stay up to date on the website in between videos where we'll see some more warnings uh, going into effect. That's likely to happen as time goes on along the Honshu coast there in Japan. Now you can also find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13 on either of those mediums and you should find us fairly easily enough. And please do show your support as always. I know you do some of you um, by doing the usual means of engagement, by commenting or subscribing. Those are the main two really, aren't they? As well as anything else that you may want to do. We also have the discussion forum on the website force13.com if you want to discuss any current storms around there or even past storms if you want to um, have a little say about those sort of things too. Um, it's really up to you. But the next update on this storm will probably arrive at around this time tomorrow. That's um, Sunday the 15th of September, probably around 3pm UTC. But until then, that's all for now.